Department. Um, hello, Corinne. This is Chris Throgmorton. I'm trying to find the, uh, basically a status update on my uh, public records request. Um, is that the one you just brought in a few weeks ago? Three, I think you had, or two or three. Yeah, November eighteenth. Okay. November eighteenth. So pushing three weeks now. Okay. All right. I'll get with the city attorney and find out. And you um. Ever any, you ever received anything on those? No, just the uh the confirmation that you guys received my request and that you'll respond in a reasonable amount of time. Um. I'm just sort of wondering if we're pushing the uh, reasonable amount of time limit, being that I'm simply requesting, um, you know, some financial records. Noth yeah. Nothing too complicated. Um, right. I presume if, you know, the city's spending this money, they, they kept accurate documentation. So. Right. Yes. Yeah, we just have to re request that information and then... Um wait until we get it back. So. Now, um, I'm, um, I'm sort of wondering, is the city actually even involved in my request, or is this strictly being handled by newbie Lewis Kaminsky and Jones? Well, he's, yeah, he's, he, 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 I sent those records requests to him, and he's handling it. Now, attorney. is there a way that the city can, can explain to me how I can, um, you see, because Nick Otis is claiming to be the victim in, in a crime that I'm supposed to have committed against him. Um, and I also have various other civil matters going on. It, it seems like he's holding up the process unnecessarily. Um, these documents I intend to use in other proceedings, and, um, well, if the, the time runs out that I would, you know, have, and these, these documents aren't really provided, that's what makes it sort of unreasonable. And you guys don't really know when my deadline is all you would know is when you get served right. with a, a new claim so i'm just sort of wondering is is there a way that you guys can um maybe do yourselves a favor and get rid of this attorney who's a conflict of interest and have somebody else maybe make these decisions since you're you're spending like eighty three hundred dollars a month on a, on a contract with 12 or 13 attorneys at newbie lewis kaminsky and jones but i'm only able to interact with the one attorney who has a conflict of interest with me I'm just sort of wondering how I, as a citizen, can I interact with my city government. When is your deadline, do you know? I, I do. I'm not obligated to tell you guys that, though. I'd like you to just abide by the but process. If you tell us we're not getting it on time, and you won't tell us what time we need to get it, then how do you... Well, it's not actually... You... This timing isn't your responsibility. Um, but the the issue is is that after you guys wait so long to provide simple documents over and over and over, there seems to be a pattern of, of stalling, and you're just passing the, the buck to old Nick Otis. And I'm sort of wondering if, if you know, the city of Laporte actually has a, a, a reason why they think this is acceptable. You know, I understand you forwarded it to your attorney, but he's not actually doing what you're paying him to do. He keeps getting you guys sued by me, to be honest. Um, I like... We're, we're wasting a lot of time and energy and money. You know, the justice system has to handle all this stuff because the city's not handling it appropriately. That's sort of taken away from them, you know, adequately dealing with, like, you know, the drug problems in our county. Just sort of, you know, wondering if the city can just abide by the Access to Public Records Act all on its own without having an attorney drag it out for, like, six months and getting you guys drug through a bunch of courts um well we we need to get the records you know he need, we need to get those records so um sometimes it takes a little bit it depends right on here's records. the thing is nick otis actually has to get those records from the city of laporte so it, it, you know i mean there's things that are automatically should be approved like what you're paying newbie lewis kaminsky and jones is is guaranteed a public record there's no real need for a three-week-long approval process for that. This is automatically a public record. He knows this. The city knows this. You guys have provided it to me before, so you can't even claim they're exempt for any other reasons in the future. You've already waived that. Um, I'm just saying it's three weeks is kind of unreasonable. Um, and being that the standards for this are arbitrary and capricious. If I can, if I can prove that it's arbitrary and capricious, 
then I can, I can get a court to order it to me. I shouldn't have to, though. That's sort of what I'm trying to figure out. Is at this point, I would think you guys would understand what is and is not public records based upon what you've already been forced to give me by a court and what you've okay. already provided. Like, so okay. can I get an answer today on this? Or let me find out what, yeah, let me find I, out what the status of this is, and I'll um, try please. to um, get back with you. I mean, um, yeah. Can I'll I get an answer can, today? Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll hopefully get something today, if not Monday. Oh, man. Because oh. it's, yeah. I'm probably just going to start typing up whatever I have to over the weekend. So hopefully I'll hear back from you guys today. Okay. All right. I'll try to find out for you, Christopher. Thank you very, very much. Okay. You You're have welcome. a lovely, lovely day. Yeah, you have a nice weekend. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Bye.